Hello. So we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Check here. MacBook. Huh? Colorful. So what's the problem with this one? The laptop is coming from uh, from a computer business. And he's saying MacBook Pro A22, A9, no sign of life. Customer said they were working on it and just went black. Replace motherboards are hard to come by. Visual check, nothing interesting. I can't find any voltage regarding with a multimeter and the USB quirk current sensor shows 5 volts, 0.1 amps. Drawn from the wall. Okay, let's check to be sure. Let's plug the charger. So plug in the charger. And the meter, it is coming on. 5 volts and around 40 milliamps, you can see. And on this one, Looks like it's coming on even here. 5 volts around 40 milliamps. Yeah. So clearly this little bit is dead. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. I will say let's uh, open this laptop and try to figure it out what is wrong. Okay, so the laptop it's open. And it's looking nice inside. Now what we're checking first. First on this uh, particular laptop. Uh, we have a fuse, yeah, this one. First, we are checking if it's any voltage. So there is the voltage which is coming from the battery, this voltage which is coming from the charger. Then uh, you have a fuse on the way to the system. So we are checking the voltage. Let's see. What you can see now is the voltage from the battery. And on the fuse, we have zero volts, you can see. 0, 0.0 zero volts, actually. Let's plug the charger. And let's see if we have any voltage from the charger. From the battery, we have nothing. So the charger, we have five volts. And on the fuse, we have zero. Why we have zero volts with two power supplies? I mean, one from the battery and one from the charger. Well, usually you are losing the power from the charger from the battery. Let's say something wrong with the PD controller. Okay, you still have voltage from the battery. Uh, what I will do, the best things to check is to come with the power, let's say around 10 volts, a little bit of current, Let's come with the, with the voltage there, around 200 milliamps, that's fine. Let's come with the voltage there. Ground, we need a ground. Just to be sure what's going on, because if it's, if it's a short to ground, then it is a problem. And it is. <laughs> uh, it's short to ground, check that, check on the screen. We have uh, 200 milliamps, because that's the limit on the power supply. And we have zero volts. The voltage gets dropped to zero, you can see. So indeed, the both power supplies voltage is missing because the main power rail is shorted. Like, you remember on normal laptops, the main power rail being shorted? Yeah. Even on this one, it is shorted. So how we can find where is the problem? Very simple. Let me grab the thermal camera. And... Uh, we can come with the current and see what is getting hot. We are pushing current into the short. Can we do it without the thermal camera? Yes, you can, but you have to use more current. Using more current, um, it is tricky because you don't know what is shorted. What about if it's a MOSFET shorted and you actually push current into the CPU or the chipset? Kind of tricky. But anyway, this short, like from what I see here, the voltage gets dropped to zero. This short resistance is very low. So it's very possible to be a capacitor. We need a ground. Okay, that's a good ground. So coming with current here, we have to raise the current because we have no voltage. You can see there? The short is very short, exactly. So, yeah, around 4 amps. And
I'm not sure, but something is warm on this area. Otherwise, the motherboard is looking cold. You can see, check here. So on this area of the motherboard, yeah, it's not on this side of the, of the board, it's on the other side. Yeah, we have four amps. Yeah, definitely something around here, but on the other side of the board, on the other side of the board. So I will say, let me take the board out and let's try to have a look. This can be a lucky customer. I mean, for me, based on the resistance, for me, it's looking like a shorted capacitor. But let's see, let's see. Let me take out the motherboard and uh, we can check. Okay, so the motherboard is out and it's looking good. Let's try to pay attention on the area where we see the heat. Hmm? So where we see the heat? It was somewhere here on this side. So here somewhere, uh, something is dodgy. Let's go under the microscope and check together. I mean, not sure what can be here. For some reason, I, I'm thinking probably it's the big one, but I'm not sure about that. Um, let's try and check with the multimeter. Let's see. So this capacitor, zero ohms, okay. Those capacitors, zero ohms. So I will say, let's come with uh, this capacitor saying zero ohms. So let's come with, uh, with, uh, with the power supply. Let's lower the voltage because we don't need that much voltage anyway. Uh, coming with the power supply here on this point and with the thermal camera maybe we can spot the whatever is shorter okay so coming with current here and nothing because there's no ground right yeah so we are pushing some current Let's see. What is that? Huh? Check that 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 spot. Which is which is here. Exactly here. Here. So actually it's not the big one, it's the small one. Hmm? Let's check. Yeah, you can spot it. Yeah, that's the one. You can see it has a crack on it. Check here. This one has a crack. You can see the crack inside. Yeah. Okay, let's remove the capacitor quickly. So we remove the capacitor. Replacing the capacitor, maybe on the next video. Or maybe now, what do you think? Uh, let me grab another capacitor. Let's see. So we can have a capacitor from here, yeah. Okay, found another capacitor. Let's replace it. Perfect. We replace the capacitor. Can we check for short again? Yeah, of course we can. Let me cool down the board. And we can check again 
with a power supply, yeah. Or with a multimeter, but the power supply can show you something more compared with the, with the multimeter. Good. So, coming again with the power supply, let's switch the voltage to like 11 volts. Ground, and on the fuse, yeah? Check there. It's not short, it's like 10 milliamps. You can see? 100 milliamps. 90 actually, you can see? So it's not short anymore. We successfully spot the faulty component. Now, let me put back the, the motherboard and let's test it together. Okay, everything is back in place. Let's be sure we are not leaving fingerprints. Now let's test it. Pressing the power button. It's working! We have picture! So basically the only problem, it was uh, that shorted capacitor. Okay, plug in the charger, we can check that. Let's see. The meter is coming on. And the voltage is 19, you can see. The other port. Same, 19 volts, and you start taking current. The battery is nearly fully charged. But anyway, have in mind, this kind of fall, like a shorted capacitor, can happen on any laptop. Not only MacBooks, not only this model, basically on any laptop. And uh, at least on the MacBooks, the easy way to find it, you have to check for the fuse here. Yeah? You have like a big white fuse on the motherboard. So usually there is the, the main power rail. Now, if you are not confident working with the power supply, you can try with a multimeter, check with your ground. And that can reveal if there is any short capacitor. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to stop now. Uh, I'm happy I helped this customer. Now the laptop is uh, back in place, so I can go uh, to the customer. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, just like, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.